We Create in Europe uh, is the acronym for Rethinking Digital Copyright Law for a culturally diverse, uh, accessible and creative Europe. It's a research and innovation Horizon 2020 project funded by the European Commission. Our project uh, is uh, built around a consortium of uh, 10 partners representing nine European countries. It's divided in uh, seven work uh, packages. Uh, each work package uh, focuses on a different stakeholder involved in the digital copyright and creativity debate. We focus on uh, uh, end users, we focus on uh, uh, creative industries, individual authors and performers, intermediaries and cultural institutions such as galleries, libraries, archives and museums. Uh, our aims are manifold. Uh, uh, generally, uh, the project stems from the idea that there are, despite the European Union regulatory effort in harmonizing copyright, intervening to remove uh, the most relevant problems uh, uh, involving uh, consumption uh, and uh, distribution uh, and production of creative and cultural content, there are still several pitfalls, still several challenges afflicting both the regulation and the market. And what we want to do with Recreating Europe is basically to tackle on one side the complexity of copyright, the fact that regulating copyright impacts on many different fields that are not just copyright related. Think about cultural policies, think about access to culture, cultural diversity, creation of social identities, preservation of culture and so forth. Uh, but we also want to tackle the knowledge gap about copyright. There are a lot of studies out there, but there are still significant gaps, which we don't want to fill them all, but we want to fill those substantial gaps, we believe, are uh, um, making it impossible uh, to uh, do an efficient uh, policymaking and lawmaking. We want also to help stakeholders addressing uh, their awareness gap compared to copyright. The fact that copyright is often misunderstood or not fully understood by users or consumers and other stakeholders alike, particularly small stakeholders. And we want to make sure that uh, in this way, also the aversion against copyright, so copyright relinquishment, the presence of alternative coping strategies to keep on creating or to keep on consuming cultural and creative uh, uh, products, goods and services are, uh, um, is, is somehow solved. We want to make sure that copyright regain legitimacy and uh, that is used in a way that it effectively can effectively incentivize creation while preserving access.